to expand a piece from the local to the global and back again. And Teresa Harris is a prime example of that because although she was raised locally in an Eldon House in Victorian England, excuse me, Victorian London, she became one of the greatest explorers of her age. So my play talks about colonialism, talks about um, how she could overcome her upbringing, and I found that my upkeep, upkeep upbringing in 50s London wasn't that much different from hers in 1850s London, which was quite shocking, but um, I really think that that play could go wonderfully as a heuristic device to engage kids in um, local history, but also the role of a young girl, how she expands into the world and travels and gains confidence and loses her prejudices. It's, um, I, I'm hoping it would be in the Thames Valley School Boards as a, I would love to get uh, money to document the filming of that so that it would be available, or at least the script would be available in schools. Dream Life of Teresa Harris, born 1839, Elden House, London. You wonder what prepared me. You know I am a gatherer, and gatherers often...